What's up, YouTube peoples? Making a video today about retirement plans. Uh, and big reason is when you talk about retirement, a lot of people just either don't know what they're doing, they don't have any plans, or they just don't have the right information. So what I wanted to share today is the different retirement plan options out there. Um, and just explain them in detail and how they compare with each other. As you can see, my beautiful chalkboard behind me, um, I have the list of, um, the, you know, the more common retirement plans and some details behind it. But first, I'll just explain uh, what each one is that uh, at least I have listed on the board. So we have 401k. I think everyone knows what a 401k is. Hopefully, everyone who's working for a company at least has a 401k option available, uh, but it's a feature of qualified profit sharing plan that allows employees to contribute a portion of their wages to individual accounts. Again, I'm just going over the, um, the exact definition that, you know, from Google McDougal, right? <clears throat> uh, 403b, it's pretty similar to a 401k except it's a retirement plan offered by public schools and certain 501c3 tax organizations. So you'll notice, uh, you know, some teachers you talk to on top of the pensions, they'll, they'll have a 403b. Uh, traditional IRA, this is an individual retirement account that offers tax advantages in the year the contributions are made. On the flip side, the Roth IRA is an individual retirement account in which contributions are taxed up front, so can be withdrawn tax-free at retirement. Um, SEP IRA, which I didn't know until I did the research for this video. This is a simplified employee's re uh, retirement plan uh, that's catered to small businesses, typically for like, um, you know, single employee like a, a guy that owns his own business and he's the only employee he's doing it for himself um, if they if he has employees he's doing it for he's a very generous person and then there's the pension plan the long lost pension plan that nobody has anymore that's a retirement plan that where employer promises a specific payment lump sum or combination on retirement that is predetermined by a formula based on the employee's earnings history tenure of service and age um, as I said, pension plans far and few between. If you could find a job with a pension plan that's not a public job, uh, that's not working for the government, jump on that. Um, then there's annuity. Um, annuity is an investment contract taken with an insurance company uh, that function like an IRA with tax deferred earnings and provide you with a predetermined income stream at a future date. So that's an annuity. All right, now, how do they compare next to each other? Um, so, let, so obviously, the first col I don't know, hopefully everyone can see the board, but as far as um, the retirement plans, which ones are required, are, are you basically required to be employed at? Uh, which are employer-based? So. 401k, 403b, I think that's obvious. Everyone knows you have to get it through an employer. Uh, the traditional and Roth IRAs, you do not. That's, you know, done on your own, which most people do. SEP IRA, yes, you need an employer. Uh, pension, obviously you need an employer. And annuity, you do not. Um, employers can contribute to the 401k, 403b. Um, obviously, they contribute to the pension plan. Um, obviously they cannot contribute to your IRA. So, um, the good thing about the 401k, the 403b and the pension, well, and the SAP is like the employers do a lot of, you know, contributing. So they, they help you out for retirement because, you know, when you do the uh, IRAs, you're on your own, you know? So again, hopefully if you do work for a company, they offer something for you. If they do not, Ask them why, what the hell are you doing, um, or just get a new job, because you'll you'll regret it later on. I'll tell you that much. Um, all right, let's talk about the, um, for all of these, there's pretty much, well, for most of these, there's, there's a manual act, max contribution uh, that you can put in. Um, so 
For the 401k, it's 19,000. Well, for the 401k and 403b, it's 19,000. As of 2019. Again, these numbers are as of 2019. Um, this is the pre-tax uh, max contribution. Um, so, <clears throat> again, some companies, through their 401k and 403b, they offer a Roth option, meaning post-tax. So, these amounts are the pre-tax maximum amounts per year that you could put in. Uh, the traditional IRA, again, that's pre-tax. The max you could do is 6000 The Roth IRA, that's post-tax. Uh, that's 6000 SEP IRA is 56000 I mean, again, but that's your employer you know, contributing everything. So I've never even heard of an SEP IRA, honestly, but... If you, if you, uh, if anyone that's watching this has one, please, uh, please let me know about it. Uh, pension, um, again, it's through the employer. They've, you know, they're controlling everything, so it's not applicable. Annuity, no, there's no max. Um, there's also a uh, benefit to being 50 years old or older. So, if you are 50 years old or older, then you can put another six thousand pre-tax in your 401k and 403b. Uh, traditional and Roth IRA, they'll give you, you know, you, you could do another thousand. What be freaking do, right? SEP IRA, another six. Um, and again, pension annuity, it's really not applicable. Um, now, there's a max total, as I mentioned, with the 401k and the 403b Companies, most companies, I guess, it's always been just pre-tax. But now, again, a lot of companies through the retirement plan are offering a Roth option. So you could do both, pre-tax and Roth. Um, so between that, the combination of that, the combination of the match, the 50 plus, uh, the total max contribution uh, that's allowed in, in full for 2019 is 56000 on the 401k and 403b, with all things considered. I figured out... Uh, that I'd mentioned that as well. So, um, what's another thing? So, when you have a retirement plan, obviously they go to most of them, you know, they're through investments. So, when you have a 401k and 403b, they're typically, you know, done through big retirement plans and your options are pretty much limited. You you have the option to select from different index funds and, you know, different types of bonds, money market, but you cannot really select for the most part individual stocks. Um, and the index funds are limited, you know, that you, you cannot just choose whatever the hell you want. They're, it's limited. So it's probably better off for most people because they don't know what they're choosing anyway. So again, that's the uh, investment options for 401k and 403b. As far as the IRAs, Roth and traditional, that's through a bank. I mean, that's, um, you really you have, it's self-directed, so you have unlimited options. Um, I don't have one, but as far as I know, you can select single stocks, um, individual stocks. You can select, you know, ETFs. Um, you can select a multitude of things. So, again, for those of you that have an IRA and you enjoy it, or if you know, you know, you can chime in a few different, Additional uh, things about it, feel free to comment below. Uh, SEP IRA, um, from what I've read, there's several options. But again, that's employer uh, controlled for the most part. Uh, pension and annuity, there's really, there's no control of the investment options. Um, I, mean, I don't know what the companies do for their pension investment options. And annuity is more so a contract. So, you know, there's no... You know, it's through an insurance company, so anyway, there's um, another thing I wanted to mention is some of these let you borrow money, uh, which is good, and it's bad for sure. Uh, the 401k and 403b will let you typically borrow up to 50% or 50k, whichever is less, meaning 50% of what you have vested in the account. Um, and you can typically select the term for this loan up to five years. And what happens is 
you'll get charged interest and it'll just be deducted from your paycheck over five years or whatever term you select. As mostly and as far as I understand, the interest will be paid back to you when the loan is paid off. So I'm guessing if you leave the company, then that interest is not yours. But you can borrow on 401ks and 403bs. Uh, again, borrow. You're, le- you're borrowing your own money and you're, you know, you're paying it back in a certain amount of time. Obviously, if you try to withdraw, not only most of them don't even let you, but for the one, if they do let you, you're, you're taking a massive penalty. Um, the penalty being 10% typically up front, and then you're paying about 20% in federal income tax, you know, in total taxes. So it's 30% out of pocket. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, traditional and Roth IRA, yes, you can borrow on them, and they must be paid back in 60 calendar, calendar days. Um, SCP IRA and pension, no, you can't borrow because it's not, it's, it's employer controlled and annuity. You can borrow from what I read, but you have to pay back within five years. So that's that on borrowing. Don't borrow. Seriously. Don't, don't do it. Listen to Dave Ramsey. Don't borrow money. Cash. Cash is king. All right. Tax benefits. Let's see. Um, 401ks, again, most most people do pre-tax. When they do pre-tax, what that does, it, it reduces um, what you claim on your taxes at the end of the year. So, you know, if you put in $10,000 pre-tax, your, your uh, taxable income is whatever it was minus 10000 Great. Hopefully that puts you in a lower tax bracket. Um, so that's the benefit of the 401k and 403b. Um, and then there's the traditional IRA. Again, same thing. You know, you can, it's, all, it's pre-tax. Um, and then the Roth IRA is you pay taxes now, but this part I just learned. The benefit, <coughs> although you're paying taxes now, you don't know what the tax rates are going to be down the road. However... Capital gains, all capital gains, when you take out the money, when all said and done, you don't have to pay the taxes on the capital gains. For the pre-tax contributions, you have to pay taxes on what you contributed plus capital gains. So think about that. Um, That's a huge benefit in my opinion, especially if you're starting out young, 20s, 30s. So I don't know. I'm reconsidering. Uh, my distribution, but I like the benefit now on my uh, taxable income. However, think about all that capital gain and not getting taxed on it. That sounds pretty sweet to me. Uh, No tax benefits for these two again. Um, Again, the employers probably get the tax benefit, but as an employee, nothing. Um, Annuities, you know, you could, you have the option to pay to get into a pre or post tax. Um, all right, let's talk about fees. 401ks, 403bs. Again, they're pretty much one the same, but they are um, they're high in fees. And the reason is they have, you know, they have these funds available that, you know, are typically catered to people who don't know what they're doing. And they have money, you know, managers managing that fund, moving funds in and out, hopefully giving you, you know, funds that work to your benefit. Um, they off, also have the retirement fund, you know, that you'll see the year. So like a 2045 retirement fund. What that is, is you're telling them the year that you're retiring and you're buying that fund. And what that fund does is it automatically allocates based on your age, you know, the percentages of stocks, bonds, and cash, etc. It does it automatically for you. So then obviously someone has to control that. So that's why the fees are high. And if you do not know what you're doing and you have a 401k and 403b, I highly recommend those um, retirement fund options. I mean, I think they're great. Um, I use them. Um, so a traditional and Roth IRA. Again, I said they were self-directed. So you pretty much have the power to, to you know, choose, pick and choose where it goes. So um, for that reason, you, you're getting the low fees. The SEP IRA, 
minimal fees from what I've read. Again, this is the, uh, the oddball of the whole chart here. Pension, there are no fees as far as I know. Well, as an employee. And annuity, the fees are high from what I read. So, again, you, this is, the fees are something you have no control of, but I figured I'd just mention that. And then let's talk about retirement age. This, everyone should care about, because I don't know about you, but I don't want to work till I'm 65. F that. Even 62. F that. Who wants to work that long? So, if you have the opportunity and chance to retire early, why the hell not? And when I say retire, I mean retire from your full-time job, to have financial freedom to do whatever the hell you want. Obviously, you can get a part-time job, do something fun that you don't make that much money, but it's fun. Um, anyway, back to the point, retirement age. So, 401k, the, the age that you typically hear, 401k and 403b, again, they're pretty much one the same. 59 and a half is the age you hear, right? 59 and a half, you can take the money with no penalty and ride on to the sunset. However, from what I've read, again, do your own research on this, but what I read is as long as you quit your job or get fired at at least the age of 55, then you can begin withdrawing from your account with no penalty. And I've read that. Please chime in if you're a, if you're an expert in this field. Um, I meant to ask Vanguard before this video, but uh, I didn't get around to it. But I, I'm pretty, I'm like 98% sure because I plan on retiring at 55 and I plan on using that if needed at 55. And I'm trusting that is the case. I mean, it should be. Why the hell not? It's your own money. Okay, traditional and Roth IRA and SEP IRA, 59 and a half. I didn't read otherwise, so that's the strict, that's strict there. Pension, I read it. Companies will let you do 55, or some will say up to 65. Um, and again, that's more company controlled. And annuities, um, it's typically around 59 and a half as well. So, is what it is, right? When do you want to retire? That, that's, the, that's the question. So, I added um, a few bits and pieces down here below. Hopefully you can read it. Most of these are protected from creditors, meaning, um, you know, if you claim bankruptcy or you, um, you're in financial distress, they can't go after your, your retirement plan, or at least uh, these over. I'm not sure about the annuity, but 401k, for, you know, whatever, all those, those are protected from creditors. That's good. That's a good thing. Um, Another note I have here, Roth, again, yeah, I put that only because I mentioned it before, but I'll, I'll repeat it. Roth contributions, you are not taxed on capital gains. That is sweet. Um, as far as income limit, meaning how much money you're making a year, only the Roth IRA has an income limit. And that limit is you need to, if you're single, you need to make less than 135000 or else you can't participate. Or if you're married, combined uh, income has to be less than 199000 or else you cannot contribute. Messed up, right? I know. Um, a couple other things. Um, as I mentioned, 401k and 403b are pretty much exactly the same. Only the dip, you know, difference, as I said, 403b is for like public job public school jobs or uh, certain tax organizations. The only difference that I saw is the administrative costs are lower on a 403B than a 401K. Um, so, a couple other notes. The SEP IRA, our favorite one that we all know nothing about. These need to be offered to all employees or none at all. And con con contributions are not required by your employer every year. So there's no set amount that they have to, um, you know, have to do. For the pension plan, obviously, you have to be vested to, you know, at the time you, you know, are retiring and taking the money out. But hopefully you are. Um, annuities. These, again, these are sold by insurance companies. And people like these because it's guaranteed people love a guarantee they love guaranteed income so 
people do this on top of, you know, what they already have, which is great. I haven't looked into it, but, um, and there's also variable annuities available as an option, meaning, I mean, the normal annuity, it's pretty much a set income that you're getting every month or however often you pick and choose. A variable would be fluctuating, and I assume based on the market. So a lot of people probably do not want that because it's risky. And an annuity, the idea is just not based on risk, typically. It's like a contract. It's a guaranteed amount. So... That's basically it. Again, I just wanted to cover and talk about all of the retirement plan options available. I know most people, again, know about or have a co- work for a company that offer a 401k or 403b. So hopefully they learned a, few, you know, a thing or two from it. For those of you who work for a company who do not offer either, for, you know, not, they don't offer a 401k, they don't offer a 403b. Most don't offer pension, so I'm not surprised. Most don't offer SCP IRA, because again, I never heard of it. So I'm not surprised. If those options are not available from your employer, number one, that's messed up. So again, talk to them about it. Why the hell not? Why aren't you offering me a retirement plan? And why, I sh- why should I not leave this company and work for a company who will offer me a retirement plan? It's a huge benefit, especially with the employer match. You, you don't even know. It'll, it'll add up. Um, Keep that in mind. However, if you want to stay at that company or you work for yourself or, you know, whatever, there's other options. Traditional IRA, Roth IRA, annuity. So hopefully, again, you learned about those options and you can go from here. Sky's the limit. Um, Sooner you can start saving for retirement, the better. Again, don't rely on Social Security, as everyone says. I'm sure it'll be there. But you just you just can't rely on it. Even if it's there, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot. You want to, by the time you're done and done working, you just don't want to worry about money for anymore. So Social Security would be like a little bonus, you know. This should be the money that you'll know you could live off of. So anything besides that should just be a bonus. So again, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not a financial advisor. Obviously, I'm in a basement with a little chalkboard making a video. Um, So I I assume you all know that, but I I think I have to say that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you tune in for more videos. Please click a like, click subscribe. Please share the channel with your friends. I'm trying to grow a a YouTube audience. It's not easy. Um, I'm catering to for the most part, the uh, newer investors, um, I invest for dividends, and but I also like to research, you know, investment topic in, topics in general. So as I learn, I like to, you know, spread the word and, you know, teach others. Hopefully they learn a, a thing or two. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.